also going to be keeping an eye on the time period the 8th through the 12th. <clears throat> now models are all over the place to do with this. I've seen several model runs bringing in a lot of rain and wind and cold temperatures. Just a series of storms. And then tonight's model run says they're going to go north of our area and miss us and just bring some clouds and breezes, mainly under our weak, weak ridge of high pressure. Um, right now, I'm going with the drier trend um, for the 8th through the 12th period. I'm going with the dry trend with just some high clouds, uh, mild temperatures, and some breezes, and a couple of clouds, but uh, nothing much more than that. Uh, but again, we're going to have to watch the models closely. This is still 7 to 10 days out, so... Um, it could be that we're going to revert back to a wet pattern again, the 8th through the 12th period. But again, that's 7 to 10 days out, and uh, models are all over the place what to do with that. Um, the latest one's wanting to bring a ridge. Right now, we'll go with the ridge, because it only makes sense to have a ridge during this La Nina pattern um, to move in. At some point, we can't have this persistent storminess like we've had uh, the last couple of weeks across the area. So I'm going to keep you guys posted on this. Uh, but an active winter has moved in across the area, um, across the area with a lot of storms. Uh, tonight it's overcast. It's about almost 3 a.m. here, December 29th. And uh, it's overcast right now, getting ready to rain again across the area. Probably uh, Friday afternoon, a few showers. Uh, overcast conditions with a few showers. Saturday looks like a wet day. And Sunday also looks like we could see rain on Sunday as well. Quickly followed by another possible storm on uh, the, the first across the area. That will be Sunday's storm. And um, we might even see another one after that. So we're going to keep you guys posted, and we'll talk to you all later.